Bailey beat Asuka with the obvious finish of Bailey helped, or so, I'm sorry, Sasha helped Bailey win. Okay, great. That's that's what it should have been. Then we have the Street Profits beating Andrade and Angel Garza. They had a pretty good match. Not the best match ever, especially Montez Ford. He was sloppy here and there. I thought he might have gotten hurt, but apparently he's all right. But the Street Profits retained the WWE Tag Team titles. Manny Rose beats Sonya Deville. No DQ loser leaves WWE match. They went 10 minutes. They worked really hard. It wasn't a great match, but I thought it was good. I thought they worked... They, they, they wanted so badly to have a good match. Now Sonya Deville will be leaving WWE for however long this ends up being. Few weeks, few months. She will obviously be back. She's not quitting. It was just an angle that they did to get out of doing the hair match. Because apparently her lawyer said, I don't think we should be shaving your head. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So they backed out of that and now she'll be dealing with that. And then she will return. Seth Rollins beat Dominic in a street fight. It was a very different match from Pat McAfee's debut. Very different. They did a lot of smoke and mirrors. And kendo sticks, chairs, tables, Rey Mysterio, Buddy, Rey's wife. I mean, everybody got involved. But Dominic did a great job. He looked like a wrestler. It was a very good match. And he did the job. Because he just did. And he should have, quite frankly. Asuka beat Sasha Banks. Uh, the match was great. The finish sucked six ways from Sunday. The finish that they told you was that Bailey did not help Sasha, and Sasha ended up losing her title. That's actually not what happened at all. Sasha went for a move, and Oscar reversed it, and she choked her out. And as soon as she did that, as soon as Sasha failed and Oscar won, the announcers told us that. Bailey refused to take a bullet for her partner. So they knew what to do, but they were too incompetent to actually do it. They had to do something else and then tell you that what happened was not what you saw with your own eyes. I hated that with every ounce of my being. Drew McIntyre beat Randy Orton with a backslide in a match where both guys kept going for their finishers. And at the end of the day, neither hit their finish. And Drew pinned him with a backslide. It seemed very much like there is more to come in this story. They will probably set up a rematch for Payback. My guess is that whatever they were originally going to do, they're going to do it Payback. And Randy Orton will probably beat Drew McIntyre and win the title. I mean, it's actually what I thought they were going to do with Keith Lee and, and Karrion Cross, Where, you know, Randy Orton is probably in line to win the title. But before he wins the title, they got to have Drew McIntyre beat him clean. And then they'll do a rematch, and Randy will beat him. We'll see what happens. And finally, The Fiend beat Braun Strowman. Falls count anywhere. There was no Alexa Bliss. She seemed baffled that she was not involved, so I think that she would probably was originally going to be involved. And then, because they didn't tell anybody about Roman Reigns, at the last second they just told her, guess what, you're not involved. We're doing something different. And uh, The Fiend won after Braun Strowman, the world's biggest dummy, produced a knife in the middle of a street fight where anything goes, and instead of trying to knife the fiend, he decided he was going to cut the mat up so he could do a move on wood, but then he took so long to cut it that the fiend woke up and hit him with a move on wood and pinned him. Braun Strowman, the biggest idiot in the history of idiots on this day, lost his title, and then Roman Reigns showed up and he speared both of them. He beat up the fiend and Braun Strowman because they're both heels, I guess, I guess Roman's a babyface. I don't know if he's going to be the leader of Retribution. Everybody's been asking that question. I have no idea. They probably have no idea. And that's where we are leading into Raw tonight. So, Mike, any thoughts on any of this? Yeah, you keep talking about the knife. It wasn't a knife. It was a box cutter. It was a Whatever, bro. Star. It was a sharp object. It was an X-Acto knife there. So it was not It was. It was not an, a knife. You're telling me an X-Acto knife. knife isn't a knife? Did you hear what you just said? <laughs> Look, I, I don't know if you had one, why you would waste time cutting up the ring instead of like trying to kill Because you're dumb. That, that's, <laughs> there was a lot of that on this show. It showed off a lot of talent, and it showed off how much talent WWE has, but it uh, unfortunately, uh, the storylines and some of the results coming out of this one are a little bit head-scratching, but they always are with WWE. I said it yesterday. At least, hopefully, the matches will be good because some of the finishes are probably going to be awful like they usually are with the biggest ones standing out being the Asuka finish against Sasha Banks where 
again, it's really just, you know, Sasha Banks did something stupid. She went to the well again. Uh, Asuka this time missed it. Bailey did nothing wrong, and then Sasha just got beat. How they decide to go ahead and spin this over the next couple of weeks and how they do some creative editing to the video will be interesting there because I can – already see where this is going where you know they both had two belts very soon uh the tag titles will probably be off of them and then it's going to be down to bailey and sasha and finally we'll have the bailey and sasha match that nobody has ever wanted at a time where they're probably doing some of their best work together so that's just the way things usually go i'm not as down on the orton uh, Drew McIntyre uh, finale or the finish of that match as some people are. I mean, it was not Kerry Von Erich and Ric Flair at the Cotton Bowl for the NWA title, that type of backslide, but it does leave the door open for another match. And because nobody hit their finisher, uh, that's probably what it's going to come down to at payback. You know, it's probably what we're going to get there. And to be honest, I hope we don't have Randy Orton getting the belt. So I hope we do have a finish where now Drew has beaten him clean. If they want to get out of this match with a crappy finish uh fine you know and you can have you know split split drew uh drew mcintyre off in one direction and randy orton off in another one because i don't think drew should give up the title right now and as good as randy orton has been he doesn't need the title all he needs to have is is legends and people lingering with edge in the background with a goal to get to with him down the line at some point so that's kind of how I feel about that. We'll see how the TV, you know, goes tonight and everything. But again, it's never the talent. It's usually, again, just the stories that are built, which makes me not look forward to tonight.